Here's stories making news right now. I'm Rob Johnson. A new report from the Office of the Inspector General came out today detailing the FBI's handling of its investigation during the 2016 campaign. CBS's Nikki Batiste has the latest from Washington. CBS News has learned the government watchdog report will describe former FBI Director James Comey as insubordinate in the Hillary Clinton email investigation. In July of 2016, Comey announced his recommendation against criminally charging Clinton for using a private email server while she was Secretary of State. And just days before the presidential election, Comey told Congress the investigation was being revived because of newly discovered emails. He was not doing a good job. President Trump fired Comey last year, initially saying it was because of his handling of the Clinton investigation, but later linked it to the Russian election meddling probe. Members of key House and Senate committees, along with President Trump, received briefings on the more than 500-page report before its official release. Sources tell CBS News it accuses former Attorney General Loretta Lynch of weak leadership. I was arriving, he was leaving. Lynch faced widespread hello, criticism for an impromptu private meeting on a tarmac then, yeah. initiated by former President Bill Clinton during the final days of the email investigation. Today's report is expected to reignite the debate about whether the FBI's actions may have cost Hillary Clinton the presidency. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And here is meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist with your forecast. Well, we had scattered clouds move in today from some storms over Iowa, but we are bracing for some hot weather this weekend. A weekend heat wave building across the region three days in a row of 90 degree heat Saturday through Monday. So there is an excessive heat watch up for Cook County and the city of Chicago just because it's going to be so warm at night too with lows in the 80s probably in the city. This big dome of hot air is going to be pushing into the picture, but we have a couple of thunderstorm chances first to talk about. We have a little bit of a lake breeze, 70 degrees downtown. It's 81 Valparaiso, 76 degrees in Ottawa. High clouds have been moving at us all day. This thunderstorm complex from Iowa is diving southeast and weakening, so it doesn't look like the rain will make it here this evening, but the high cloud deck certainly does. And what we could see is an upper level disturbance moving through by daybreak. So the forecast tonight calls for mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will bottom out in the mid 60s, so mild with a chance of a shower or th thunderstorm mainly around daybreak, and those should taper off after 10 a.m. Afternoon highs for your Friday, about 88 degrees.